Hey guys, I'm Amy, I am an Archaeology and Heritage student at the University of York and I am also a Newcastle Sixth Form alumni. I graduated from Newcastle Sixth Form with three A-levels in 2017. Um, I did my A-levels in two years. I did um, Classics, Psychology and Combined English plus a D in a Latin short course that I did through the classics department and um, that was all self-taught um, in my last year of A-levels and then I went on to take a gap year. In my gap year I worked in retail, I travelled about, I just said yes to a bunch of projects um, and then I went to go study archaeology and heritage at the University of York. A gap year was something that I always considered doing but I never really thought about what I was going to do. Um, I ended up really 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 liking the experience. I did loads of really cool things. Um, I did a two week dig at Vindolanda. Um, I was on Pointless. Um, I travelled to a bunch of different places and I got a bunch of experience uh, working in retail. Um, I basically just had a great time saying yes to projects that I wouldn't be able to say yes to otherwise. Um, it is a thing that I would recommend if you are sort of going into a sector where experience is important or if you don't think you're 100% ready to go to university yet or if you just want to enjoy a year before you go to university. Um, the reason I ended up taking one was because I just wanted a break from education for a little bit and that's fine, you're allowed to do that. Um, whether you're going straight into university or you're going into the world of work, um, there might not be many opportunities for you after you leave sixth form to just have a year where you just do exactly what you want to do. Um, so I would recommend that. Um, and then I ended up going to the University of York, which was my dream university um, to study archaeology and heritage. Um, so the archaeology part, we kind of learn about past civilizations um, and, you know, sort of reconnaissance techniques and how to find sites, how to excavate them, things like that. Um, and then the heritage side of it uh, is a much smaller, smaller course, there's only eight of us, I think. Um, and we look into things like museums and make an archaeology accessible and how to promote it to people um, and I really really love it. <laughs> I'm having an absolutely fantastic time. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking about getting into archaeology, I would, I, personally I would recommend, I might be a little bit biased, um, but yeah, I have a bunch of videos on my channel about archaeology, about what we do, about um, some dig experience, so if you want to know a little bit more about that, then that is the place to look. In one of my lectures I was actually shown a list of things that um, employees in the archaeology sector look for when they're hiring someone um, and top of the list was actually a driver's licence um, so if you're thinking about going into the sector that might be something that you should consider um, but also up there is definitely experience and um, I think definitely qualifications are important but I found that a lot of people in the sector are already very qualified um, and the thing that sets you apart from that other person with the masters or the other person with the PhD is experience. I think it's the thing that a lot of universities look for in a personal statement um, and it's also fun. <laughs> Digging is fun, it's hard work. Um, doing an archaeological excavation is difficult, it is physically very difficult, um, it is very time consuming but it is great fun and um, archaeologists tend to be very nice people so there'll be definitely someone that you get on with there even if you don't know anyone there so I would recommend looking into doing a dig and um, maybe contact some of your local universities see if they're doing one um, or you can do things like Vindolanda, um, but they are quite expensive. I definitely think qualifications is something that is important when getting into the sector because um, I think everyone is qualified. Archaeology is one of those things where everyone is very passionate about it, which means that everyone is qualified. Everyone has spent a lot of time in education because they really, really love this subject. Um, so I don't think a degree cuts it nowadays to be completely honest um, I think if you use your degree to springboard um, some experience or an internship or volunteering or whatever then it's probably enough um, but if you're looking to get into the academic side of things I think that I think you need a PhD to be completely honest I think that's um, a thing that you should probably start planning for now if you want to get into that um, or really start thinking about um, if slash when you start your degree but just talking more generally about sixth form, um, I was asked to give you guys a piece of advice that I would give to people at the sixth form at the moment and I think my main piece of advice is to just stick with it and it doesn't matter what it is. So um, say that you're volunteering and you hate volunteering at this place. 
I'm not telling you to keep going. I'm not telling you to keep volunteering. I'm telling you to keep doing something. Um, I'm telling you to leave the volunteering place and get a job. Or I'm telling you to use those hours to revise instead. Um, yes, take breaks. That is very, very, very important. Your mental health always, always, always comes first. But keep at it. If you need to, to take a step back for a bit, that's absolutely fine. Um, but always have something. I think um, if you're just doing your A-levels, not that they aren't hard, they are incredibly difficult. Maybe try and find just one thing, just one other thing that is sort of unique to you that makes you stand apart and keep doing it if you don't like it find something else and keep at it just keep going <laughs> because eventually you will get your results and whether or not they're the results that you want or the results that you don't want you will get there and you will be finished and you will have your a levels or maybe you won't have your a levels and you'll be done um so you might as well keep at it and keep going while you still can because one day it's gonna be over and then you don't know what you're going to end up doing. I'm pretty sure that's everything that I wanted to say. Um, I have a bunch of other information about stuff on my channel. I've got advice for sixth form. I've got sixth form versus university videos. Um, I've got like what I wish I knew in my AS year videos. A bunch of different uh, videos about A levels on my channel. As well as a bunch of different archaeology themed videos. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, check them out or leave them down in the comments. And I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, thank you very much to the Newcastle Sixth Form College for contacting me and asking me to make one of these videos. Videos. Um, if you're watching from the sixth form right now, hello. Um, hope you have a great time. I had a fantastic time at the sixth form. Clearly, I have a job for another one in my wardrobe as well. <laughs> um, I will put some pictures here of my time at sixth form to prove to you that it was fun. If you have no requests or questions, then leave them down in the comments. New videos every Wednesday. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you next week. Bye.